What's up gamers and welcome to my controller support guide for Ready or Not. Um, if you don't already see the controller layout here on Steam, uh, the thing I did was I just opened big picture mode. And of course, have my controller on and connected. And then of course you can just select Ready or Not. You can go over here uh, to the controller symbol as on the far right, right there. You can click that. Uh, you can click here on the layouts. You can go over to community layouts. I just chose this one at the top. It has the most votes. It has the most hours played on it. The Xbox controller map looks just fine. Um, you can click on it and see all of the presets there. You can see that voice comms are mapped to the left bumper, melee to right bumper, uh, and quick throw for your grenades. Um, and all the other controls, you know, we'll get into as we sort of uh, demo how this works in game. And uh, this works pretty well. So, once you have all that set up, you can just simply launch the game from here. All right, gamers. So, I wanted to demonstrate how Ready or Not's controller support actually works. Um, and I think one of the easiest ways is just to go into headquarters here. And we can just walk around and go to the firing range and stuff like that. Alright, so once you're in the game, right stick moves you, uh, allows you to look. Left stick, you know, walk around. No sprint button. That's, you know, par for the course with a game like this. So I'm going to demonstrate here how it kind of works. So we're going to run over here. Uh, the A button is kind of your interact, so anytime you see something tell you to like press F, you can just simply press A to do so. So that means when we approach a door, you know, I can either look at a door to like casually open it or look at the door knob and press A and you'll peek it open then you can kind of like push it open with your body. Like so. And then of course, uh, if you want to switch your uh, X is to reload. You double tap Y to pull out your pistol. Once again, X to reload on that as well. And then right on the D-pad is like your flashbangs or tactical. Down on the D-pad allows us to use this gadget here to look under the door. Should let us. There we go. Right trigger allows us to use the mirror under the door, so we can see that we have like a target right there, for example, and we can deal with that. And then, of course, when we have a gun out, left on the D-pad allows us to switch firing modes, so it's on full auto. Now it's back to single, and then uh, up on the D-pad is our flashlight. Now the other thing you can do is you can hold Y and it kind of lets you see like your whole hot bar of items here at the bottom. And then if you if you like you push to the right once you get this tactical. You hold to the right again, you'll get out this. Which is this is your C2. And then you can just simply plant it on the door. And then now it's ready to detonate. So I could stand like here, for example. And I'm ready to push in. Right? If you hit your target, whatever it may be, right? And then of course, um, right on the D-pad instantly pulls this out. So you can throw your tactical flash a room, get in there. Uh, the other thing is that I'm using like a standard Xbox type controller. This is the Gully Kit uh, King Kong Pro 2, which is a Switch slash PC controller, actually. Um, but yeah, if you press start, um, that's the jump button. But if you hold start, you'll drop a chem light, which, you know, these little glow stick looking guys. And then, of course, the, uh, the select or the back button 
is all set to be like your tactical options. And I believe left bumper will also be some of your voice call outs. While left trigger is to aim, right trigger is to shoot. And then of course, yeah, you can just like open the door. You know, casual style there. And then if you hold X, it does the thing where it like shows, okay, you examine the clip, you see how much ammo it has. It shows at the bottom of the screen, like how many clips you have. Now, the only thing that's troublesome is when you're pressing Y to switch to your pistol, if you don't double tap it, like you single tap it to get back to this, but if you single tap Y, for some reason, it's also mapped to reload. So that might require some toggling on my end. Maybe there's like a controller or, or some sort of key bind there that's doing that for some reason, uh, which makes it kind of annoying. You know, if you were needing to switch to your pistol in an emergency and then you end up accidentally reloading your gun, then you get shot, you know, that's on you, right? So, yeah, you can hold Y and bring up all this. So, I mean, it kind of negates most of the um, the need for having to play mouse and keyboard. If you're a person um, that doesn't want to play mouse and keyboard or, you know, if you have some sort of disability and you want to play on controller or some other, other method, um, this seems to work just fine with the standard xbox type controller although this is a switch pc controller you can also use it on steam um but yeah it looks like the game is working rather well and it's performing smoothly and uh i'll definitely be making some content sort of exploring how this game runs and what my experience is like as a controller user and if i think it is worthwhile for you uh, to also do so and so one last thing to highlight is, of course, you you know by now that the A buttons are action buttons. Hey, there's people over here. Help get us. on the ground now. Yeah, get a, I'm complying, officer. So yeah, you I'm can tell the running. hostages what to do. Stay still. And then you can get up and restrain them. So, I mean, all the features in the game, Those they're like cuffs. really important and key uh, to the experience. You know, it's a rather immersive shooter, and so you're going to want to make sure that you have full control of everything the game so i'm really impressed thus far the game does not have official controller support but once again it looks like the steam community has come through and you don't have to download like any additional programs or worry about other types of hardware um or or anything harming your computer or having to open like secondary programs in order to run a certain controller and, and do things in the game I'm really impressed, and I can't wait to dive into this game even more. The only problem is, yeah, like, because of the controller settings and the way things are mapped, you know, if you want to pause the game, you're going to have to hit the escape key. So, I mean, once again, it's something that if you were, like, dying to be able to press start to do that, but I would rather have full control of all the in-game options and all the complexities of stuff like that um, than to have, like, a dedicated pause button or something like that. I think pressing the escape key is is just fine. So once again, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have found it helpful or informative. Definitely hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. Be safe. Bye.